Welcome back viewers, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing a canopy on my main toolbox, this guy right here. It is a Cornwell Platinum Series 84 inch canopy. Uh, they ran these on promo a couple months back and I decided to finally pick it up. Uh, I had to wait two months for it, it was on back order. The main toolbox here I've had for a couple years now. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get asked. This main toolbox cost 8,500 bucks after tax. And this guy here cost 4,300 bucks after tax. Seems kind of like a rip, but what are you gonna do? I think the original list on them was $4,700 before tax. So the first thing I, I had to do, I had to pull it off the pallet. I just used the lift here and lift it on and put it on top of the stainless top here. And um, I got a mark for holes, punch a bunch of holes in the stainless top and so I could put screws in it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take, lift it back up, pull the box out so I can drill for the holes and then put this thing back on and then mount all the accessories on there. So follow me and let's go ahead and put this thing on. The first thing I'm gonna do is mark and punch 10 holes in the, in the stainless top so I can mount these bolts on here that's what holds this canopy on and I've got these marked already I'm gonna go ahead and lift this back off and pull the box out and center punch them drill them and then we're gonna go ahead and put this thing back on and sink some screws into it So let's center punch these. Let's see if I even can with stainless. Is it working? Not very good. I think I'll just try drilling them. I'm just wanting to walk a little bit. Yeah, you got through one. Only nine more now. That's one, two, three, four, got six of them. But that's a, it's a smaller pilot hole. I had to use my, my uh, cobalt extractors or reverse drill bits. They seem to be really sharp because I don't use them very often.
have all the holes punched about a half an hour later, or 10 holes. I, I uh, pilot drilled them with the 764th drill bit and then went up to 3 16 Get these vacuumed and then drop this canopy on there. Well, here's the assembled unit. I've been working out of it a couple weeks. For being uh, two years difference on the bottom box to the canopy, the paint and the, the blue anodizing trim matches almost perfect. It was a perfect fit too. Yeah, it looks great. All the corners and the trim. Yeah, they line up good. It went on pretty easy. Let me take you for a tour inside of it. A couple cool features on this canopy. One is this dual hinge door. I think it gives it a more open feel by doing it that way versus, I know Mac and Snap-ons, uh, I think most of them, maybe all of them, they have a like the old school one piece garage door and it kind of flips up and it slides in. Uh, I think you get more height by doing it this way. And the other thing is, is it sets it back further, gives you more headroom 
when you're up here working or you're on your computer, or, you know, for taller guys like me, when you're reading wire di wiring diagrams or you're on your scope. The other thing is, is this, these uh, electronic locking mechanisms. If you're going to be on a really long test drive or you're going to go to the doctor, you're going to be gone for a couple hours, whatever you're going to be doing, it's, you just quickly shut it, fl flick the lever, you're locked. And then when you come back, hit the keypad in, unlock it, and you're back in. It's simple as that. Yeah, some really cool features on that. Uh, one of the benefits of having a canopy is, is um, people can't work on your surface when you're, when you're gone, when you're on vacation or wherever. Uh, usually the shops I've been at, any type of flat surface is, uh, is just a work zone for someone else. It's just an invitation. People stack stuff on there or put a transmission up there or put, put bottles of uh, brake fluid. They've got brake fluid on them. Uh, that that allows people not to do that. I actually had a, I was on vacation and I had a roll cart, I had a painted top, flip top on it, and I came back from vacation, someone set a brake bottle on it, it was, it had brake fluid all over it and it oozed around the bottom, and then when I get back from vacation, I lift it up and it had a perfect circle on the bottom of the bottle where it had, it had uh, ate the paint away. So yeah, that, that keeps people from messing with your, with your stuff. Also, at the end of the day, if you don't want to put your tools away, you got, you, you got some expensive equipment up here, your stand tool, a lab scope, and your computer, and wh what have you, paperwork. You just shut it on down, go home. So let me take you for a look inside, I mean, I, I guess you can see it, but I'll, let me get you a little closer in here. This has a automatic light, senses motion, you can, let me flip my camera up here, it's on my tripod. It's got, uh, this is motion, it, it goes off after three minutes, and if it doesn't sense motion, then it comes back on. Or you can just turn it on solid. This actually had three inch um, spacers. I took them off, and it's got three magnets on it, but I took them off, remounted the magnets, and and now it's it's sucked way up in there so when you're away from it you really can't see it and it's it's really bright I think it's borderline too bright but if it if it uh, you know I don't like that I can probably cut some um, tinted plexiglass and zip tie it up there but I guess it's better to be too bright than not bright enough now it's got the pegboard back here and it has it has some grommets you can route the the cords through the left over here on the right. I chose the right. I like the computer off of these side drawers here, these smaller drawers. Um, my my drawer here usually has uh, my keys, wallet, stuff like that. So when I'm when I'm at lunch, I'm on the computer. I like the right side here. So I mounted the power strip on the uh, pegboard on the right side. I'm not sure if this is permanently where it's going to go. I've been working out of a couple weeks. I got a couple other things to mount in here, uh, but it, that's probably probably where it's going to stay. If you mount it on the left side over here, if you notice the cord comes out, this left side, if, if you put it over here, the cord just would just go straight out if you would want it over there. But I've, I've got it over here. The cord, I just put the cord underneath and then, and it goes out this grommet over there. Yeah, it's it's uh, really cool. It, uh, like I said, it, it it fit perfect. These these self-tapping bolts or screws. It's kind of strange they would have them the head that high. I, I guess you could pull these out and put those like uh, shallower pan head, um, those rounded style bolts. But for now, that's that's what's in it. All right, there you guys go. Yeah, so far I'm really digging it. I probably should have did this a couple years ago. It really makes the box now. 
feel, gives you a home away from home feel. Well, I hope you liked that. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.